Welcome to Lanyap, a program about events, issues, and people. I'm Corey Crow, and I'm joined today by Claire Roan and Ann Bloxham Smith from Friends of Black Bayou. Welcome. Thank you both for being with us today on Lanyap. Thank Hi. you for having us. Hi, Corey. Well, it is uh, a big time of the year for Black Bayou uh, Lake National Wildlife Refuge, and the Friends organization is a uh, a group that works to help the the area. Tell me what's going to be going on this weekend. Go ahead, Ann. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for Claire. Claire is the director of this year's fall celebration. So this is 26 years that we've been doing this every fall. So it's a big thing. It's our big thank you to the community for all the support they've given the refuge over the years. Claire, this uh, weekend uh, on Saturday, you've got a big event. Uh, tell us what's going to be going on. Yes, from 9 to 1, um, come out to uh, Black Bayou Lake, and we will be having um, lots of vendors, uh, different uh, community organizations coming out telling us about their organization. We're going to have two different food trucks, so um, bring some extra money for that. The event is free, but to eat, you know, you're going to want to have uh, – some some money for that um we will be doing free canoeing and kayaking um we'll have the louisiana pine snakes out for people to um view and to maybe even hold fun yes mm -hmm. lots of stuff going on that sounds uh, like a lot happening and uh, you get kicked off 9 a.m on saturday yes. morning we're gonna start with a nature walk so a nature walk. So, um, Ann, if I came out and I did the nature walk on Saturday morning, what kind of nature would I see? Well, you know, the animals do what they do, so uh, we can't guarantee anything. But we do uh, often see alligators. Uh, you might see some deer, although that's a little late in the morning for the deer. Uh, but there are all kinds of critters that you're likely to see when you're out on the trails. And um, you guys uh, have uh, the trails and uh, the, the pier to go out and look at the lake and uh, see all the fish and turtles and, and all the things in the lake. Um, tell me a little bit about how long uh, the, the Friends group is, has been together and what your purpose is. Well, we started in 1997 in the summer which is the same time that the, that the refuge started. So the friends group and the refuge grew up together and uh, support each other. So uh, part of our uh, purpose, our main purpose as a, a friends group is to support the refuge in conserving wildlife. So uh, native wildlife, that's our main thing, wildlife first. But on the side, we can also have people-oriented activities. So we have hunting and fishing and boating. Uh, we have uh, wildlife observation. We have photography. Actually, Corey, one interesting thing is that we'll have our photo contest. Winners are posted now in the visitor center. And you do, that's something uh, you guys do every year is that big photo contest. So the winners uh, right. will uh, be shown this weekend. Um, it is a fun place to bring a camera. It is. It, it's perfect. And the, the winner this year of the Charlie Heck Memorial Grand Prize is uh, a local man named Jeff Perot. And he has a wonderful picture of a red-winged blackbird. And it's just, it's great. And uh, that is, the name of it is Patches, actually. And you can see that that bird has personality, and he, he captured it. You know, you don't see those red-winged blackbirds a lot in north Louisiana, but you catch them when they're migrating. And uh, all uh, last night, uh, I was driving, and this big white blur came by, and I was like, what's that? <laughs> And it was a, a bunch of white birds that were migrating uh, last night. And I thought, oh, it's time for them to turn the big bird. So tell me, <laughs> tell me about what happens on Saturday. we got to turn the birds to tell the, the bird yeah. what way to go, right? We have a big blue goose at, uh, <laughs> at Black Bayou. 
and at our fall celebration and then also at Earth Day, we turn it to make sure all of our birds know which way they're headed for winter. <laughs> so we get all the kids out there and they help us turn it just in case any of the cardinals or blackbirds or anyone else needs a little hint of which way to go. <laughs> it is that time of year. Uh, and. Uh, it's a, a different time of year, too, because you get to see different wildlife than you normally see uh, in the facility, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll have lots of wildlife for the children to to experience. We like to uh, provide some environmental education. Mm-hmm. Uh, although this is a really fun event, we try to sneak a little in, uh, education in there. There'll be games that'll be educational. Uh, for instance, I believe there is a, a migration game. Yeah, you learn how hard it is to be a bird it's trying hard. to migrate. <laughs> uh, you might get uh, spun around in some tailwinds or have to stop for a snack, but you really <laughs> learn the, the the life of a bird playing the migration game. You'll have uh, a lot of uh, community groups out there helping as well. Right, and that's one of the things that makes this work for the last 26 years. Uh, all these different community groups, all the scouts uh, mm-hmm. help out, uh, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, all of the university groups, uh, the biology clubs, the uh, eco clubs at the high school mm-hmm. come and help out. The chemistry club here at ULM helps out. Uh, all of these groups have activities or some of them just help us like uh, manage all the canoes and kayaks and mm-hmm. so on. That It's just a community effort and the whole thing really is to thank the community i mean that's why we it's a free event uh, because we want to thank the community for what it's done for black bayou we're talking today with ann bloxham smith and claire roan from friends of black bayou the big fall celebration uh this weekend for folks to find out more about what all's going to be going on, where can they go to learn more about uh, the weekend happenings and uh, the happenings throughout the year at the Bayou? I would say the best place to go is our Facebook page, uh, Friends of Black Bayou. You can also go to our website, which is friendsofblackbayou.com. Dot org. I'm sorry, dot org. We're an organization. <laughs> um, or you can um, go to the KEDM calendar and see the link there. That is uh, Friends of Black Bayou. The fall celebration uh, begins Saturday morning, 9 a.m., going till 2 p.m. in the afternoon at the Black Bayou Lake National Wildlife Refuge just north of Monroe. Thank you for being with us today. And to find out more about this and other events, be sure and visit our website at KEDM.org.